Cindy Lauper called for women's reproductive rights to be respected and launched a new organization at the Glastonbury Festival. The Saturday edition of the event at Worthy Farm also marks Coldplay's first pyramid stage appearance since 2016, and will see them overtake The Cure, who have headlined the slot four times. Frontman Chris Martin, guitarist Johnny Buckland, drummer Will Champion and bassist Guy Berryman will follow pop superstar Dua Lipa, who headlined the festival on Friday. Lauper, who is set for what is billed as a farewell tour in the UK next year, wore a jacket with a blue train, a silver bodice and silver pants on the pyramid stage. She opened with her 1980s track The Goonies Are Good Enough while dealing with mic issues. But the technical problems appeared to be improving when she performed her biggest hits time after time, Money Changes Everything, True Colors and I Drove All Night. At one point when she faltered, Lauper said it is a little crazy and we have got a hole over here, while appearing to be frustrated with the sound and staging. During her performance of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, Lauper's audio improved and she made reference to feminist marches that in 2017 saw U.S. women wear lots of pink pussy hats. To cheers, Lauber told the crowd, I was watching TV and I saw all these women all over the world marching, with some pink hats and... My friend called me up and said to get the hell out there, Cindy, so I did I went out and I saw the signs that said girls just want to have fundamental rights, that's right. She added that she was partnering up with her girls just want to have fundamental rights fund on Saturday, which funds organizations all around the world to help young women, older women, women, who want, reproductive rights, autonomy over their own bodies. Lauber also highlighted the maternal health organization White Ribbon Alliance, who she said were at the front, before saying, it is time that the world leaders understand that women are half the population of the world and we deserve to be treated equally, no matter where we're from or what we look like. She also made several references to the UK including mentioning the West End production of Kinky Boots ahead of my father's son and her change of heart music video that saw her dancing in London's Leicester Square. Lauber also had a solo moment with the recorder, during her second track, the controversial She Bop.